Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about maintain employee. Let's go to SQL Payroll, maintain employee. So once you come in, there will be a list of all your employee. And if you want to view more details instead of going into the particular employee, what you can do is you can right click any column title, field chooser, and drag out certain details that you want to show. Maybe you want to show the day of birth, just drag, drop. Okay, like active you don't want, you can drag, put back. If you want to search for particular employee, you can from here, just directly, they were able to search for the employee. Another thing is at the column title, most left hand side, there is a small button with multiple line, click on it. It will also enable you to click on the details you want to show. Example, maybe a uh, join it, click on it, then join it will show, and you can move the column accordingly. If you don't want, you can right click on it, remove this column, or untick over the this side. Okay, let's create a new employee. Click on new button. So you should give a employee code to him. Let's say your company do not practice employee code, then you just let the system handle it. Because employee code is just for the system processing and let's say you don't have, let the system auto assign it. So it's not important because you can search the particular employee using the name. Maybe this one you can put in a job title or you can skip it also, no problems. Give the name, let's say for name. Of course, the name should be uh, follow the IC name, uh, IC. Then you can have a second name, maybe in Chinese. Okay, maybe in Chinese. So gender, put in the date of birth, address, phone, mobile, e email, IC number. New IC number is very important because such as SOXO will use IC number as the SOXO number. So let's say you have OIC number, passport number, immigration number. Okay, then grouping. Grouping is for you to view certain report according to certain grouping. Example, I just want to view uh, all the staff according to uh, finance department. So then you need to do grouping for your employee. If you do not practice this, then you can skip this part also. Okay, so let's say you want to do that. Example department, there's no department over here. What you can do is click on the arrow down of that particular field, click on new, then you can create a new department. Let's say a finance. Copy paste. In the SQL, all the code is alphanumeric, meaning it can be wording, it can be number. So save it, then you are able to select finance. Okay, same goes to others. Leaf group is very important, but I will leave it in the future tutorial when I talk about leaf. So family, family is where you put in the spouse name, address, and so on. Payroll info is very important. This is where you actually set the criteria of the payroll for that particular employee. First thing, of course, we just type. Okay, so over here, there's only one way just type. If you still can remember in previous tutorial, let's say you have different way just type, you need to maintain under payroll, maintenance, maintain wages. Over here, you just need to select accordingly. Wages, that means the basic salary, let's say it's 5,000. So contributions are so the same, you need to select accordingly, which is under wages, frequency, and contribution. All this is selections. It's not creations, okay? So payment method, maybe you pay using different method, cash or whatever, then you can maintain over here. If not, just leave it as same payment method as default. So bank, bank, account number. So is he a resident or got self-disabled, EBF number. Okay, many people will ask about NK and initial. These two, you can skip it. Actually, it appear in your um, EPF form. So you look through your EPF form, there will be NK and initial. 
for that particular employee, but not so important at this moment. So Soxo number can leave it blank because now um, in Malaysia, Soxo number is actually using the IC number. So that's why I say IC number is very important. So Soxo type normally you are everyone is under first category. Okay, or these people, this person got no Soxo, then you can select no Soxo. Okay. Do he need to contribute to EIS? Yes. Then yes, no. Then you need to normally you need to select why it is not okay. Maybe it is a public sec, uh, domestic servant or with uh, a foreign worker and so on. Okay, so we will put it as yes. So tax branch not important. Tax number is very important because if this employee need to submit for PCB, then you need to put in the tax number. Marital status also important because this will determine the tax category. So for this part, I'll explain in a future tutorial because this is very important. You need to specify the marital status, the children information, the spouse information to determine the tax category. Then let's say, you do not after select uh, after the, the the option you have set then you still not satisfied you want to manually override it then you can manually override it okay but not recommended of course you should let the system to determine for you okay then is there any serial number for your ea what is the joint date confirm date resign date okay so allowance now if the staff have allowance, you should understand that whether it's a fixed allowance or a flexible allowance. Fixed allowance means every month he's getting the same amount. Let's say they have a meal allowance. Every month there is a 500 meal allowance. Then you set it over here. And how to do this? Of course, you need to have the allowance maintenance first. Under payroll maintenance, you need to maintain the allowance first. So over here we have maintained, let's say, meal. So this meal need to contribute to if you are so or not, then you can set accordingly. After that, if this is a fixed allowance, then you plus, then you select meal. Okay, then what is the rate? Let's say 200. So whenever you process the payroll for this particular employee, this meal allowance 200 will come out automatically. If every month the meal allowance is not fixed, then you should not set it over here. You can do it over open pending, which I will explain in details in future tutorial. Things go to deduction. If there is any deductions, note you can put in a photo of this guy and put in some notes. Okay. History. Any changes you have made for this employee after you have saved it, it will record it over here. Example that you increase his salary or you promote him to another position or you change the department, all will appear over here. Child, children or child is actually will have impact to the tax category will be explained in the next tutorial attachment is where you can attach certain document related to this person it will actually create a link to that particular document it will not save or store in SQL payroll system so maybe resume maybe the application letter and things like that which or, or certificates that uh, he provided so you want to have a link to that kind of document then you can do this attachment normally you will store all this attachment in the server so that it's easier for you or convenience for you to retrieve it in the future so with actually the most basic information is gender date of birth ic then payroll info wages this is the minimum uh, criteria that you need to set for that particular employee then save it then you have the employee and if you want to edit the employee information of course you can click on the employee click edit and edit accordingly okay so that is how you're going to maintain the employee information in SQL payroll system if you're interested to this system or you're interested to ask accounting system we have more tutorial then um, if you want to change the maintenance to me or purchase the system, of course, you're welcome to contact me directly. Once again, thank you for watching. 
I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.